This is our push-up progression. The first progression is an incline push-up with the bar elevated on a squat rack. James is going to set up with his hands so that they're outside of his shoulders. He's going to keep his body in a nice straight line, keeping his feet together tight. He's squeezing his butt, keeping his stomach tight, making sure that his hips are not too high or too low. He's going to initiate the movement by bringing his elbows back and down at a 45 degree angle, touch just below his nipple line to the bar, and then press straight back up, making sure that his torso does not move around at all. Here's a couple reps at full speed, going through a full range of motion at his elbow. The next uh, part of the progression is going to be a modified push-up from the floor. To set up for this movement, James is going to get into push-up position with his feet together tight, he's squeezing his butt, his stomach's tight, body's in a straight line. He's going to initiate the movement, bring those elbows back and down, 45 degree angle, go all the way down to the floor. Even if you can't do a strict push-up, it's very important to keep your body in a straight line on this portion of the movement, and then from here, you can do a modified push-up by bringing your chest up first and then immediately following with your knees. Here's a couple reps of full speed. Obviously, the, the more advanced you are, the more you can keep your body in a straight line on the way up. And to modify it further, you can make it more of a knees push-up, like so. All right, the next variation is going to be just your standard strict push-up. Same setup as before, James's hands are underneath his shoulders. He's in a good push-up position with his body in a straight line. He's gonna bring his elbows down to 45 degree angle, go all the way down the floor, and then press straight back up. Making sure that he does not lose that straight line that he's trying to maintain through his entire body. Okay, the next hair variation is gonna be a hand release push-up. With the hand release push-up, James is gonna set up the exact same way, only this time when he lowers himself down and touches his chest to the floor, he's gonna rest on the bottom, lift up his hands from the floor, and then bring him back down and finish that push-up. So essentially, each push-up will be from a dead start in the bottom, it makes it a little bit harder.